simply put, the ocean is a terrifying place. In all of its mysterious majesty, it has managed to harbour some of the most insanely terrifying tales of isolation and abandonment in human history, which, when you realise the fact that the ocean covers over 70% of our planet, it isn't exactly difficult to see why. They say that the sea is a fierce and fickle mistress, and from a sailor's cautionary tale to a sombre shanty, the warning signs are the only thing that we can truly know for certain. Hello horror fans, and once again welcome back to the scariest channel on YouTube, Top 5 Scary Videos. As per usual, I'll be your horror host. Jack Finch as today we curiously take a look at the top five creepiest ghost ships that haunt the sea. Roll the clip. You're gonna need a bigger boat. For the curious amongst you, that legendary scene was from 1975's Jaws, directed by Steven Spielberg, and the only shark-based horror masterpiece that you'll ever need. Of course it is, this is a list about creepy tales from the sea. What did you expect? Kicking off at number 5, the Kaz 2, which perhaps is one of the most terrifying modern instances of the term ghost ship, and one of the most profoundly tragic unsolved mysteries of the deep blue sea. The Kaz 2, which was publicly dubbed the Ghost Yacht, was a 9.8 metre catamaran which was found drifting listlessly 88 nautical miles off the northeastern coast of Australia on the 20th of April 2007. The three men aboard, who were all residents of Perth in Western Australia, were all incredibly experienced sailors. They were 56-year-old Derek Batten and brothers Peter Tunstead and James Tunstead, who were 69 and 63 respectively. Their whereabouts still remains a mystery to this day, and the fate of these three men perhaps may never be known. What made it even stranger is that when the Kaz 2 was eventually found by the Coast Guard, there were no signs of distress, no signs of boat damage or even a struggle between the three men. It was as if they just vanished out of thin air. Coffee cups were left out and all the life jackets on board remained stowed away, indicating that the trio never felt at risk. In an even more curious turn of events, rescue teams discovered video footage of the three men on a handheld camera, seemingly hours before they disappeared. It showed them fishing, relaxing in the sun with the motor off, and offered no clues as to how these three experienced sailors disappeared at sea. Although an inquiry was later drawn, no definitive conclusions were ever reached and only theories remain about the ultimate fate of the Kaz 2. Coming in at number 4, the Lady Loverbond. Of course, no list would be complete without a good old sea shanty of jilted lovers and ghostly revenge. As the legend goes, the Lady Loverbond was a schooner that is alleged to have been wrecked on the Goodwin Sands just off the southern coast of Kent on the 13th of February 1749. But if you ask any old sailor worth their salt, they'll tell you that it just so happens to have a habit of reappearing every 50 or so years as a ghost as the story goes, the captain of the ship, a man named Simon Reed, had just been married to his bride Annetta and was celebrating the joyous occasion with a cruise bound for Oporto in Portugal. Now, it is high time to mention that a long standing sailor's superstition was that back in the day it was grave bad luck to bring a woman on board, and in many ways, the legend of the Lady Loverbond is a cautionary tale that exemplifies that fact. According to the tale, the ship's first mate, a man named John Rivers, was a rival for the hand of the captain's young wife and in a jealous fit of rage, he killed the crewman manning the ship's wheel and steered the vessel into the treacherous Goodwin Sands, killing absolutely everyone on board. And if you're asking me, that is a stark overreaction. But nevertheless, since that fateful day in 1749, the Lady Loverbond has been sighted on numerous occasions with an ethereal, ghostly glow, eternally bound to wander the ocean. Next up at number three, the Mary Celeste, which in fact may very well be the world's most infamous ghost ship as well as one of the longest enduring mysteries of the seven seas. Built in Spencer's Island, Nova Scotia in 1861 and launched under the new name of the Mary Celeste in 1868, this merchant brigantine sailed uneventfully across the Atlantic for years as a seaworthy efficient vessel. It wasn't until her fateful voyage in 1872 where the true ghostly legend began, which has since gathered theories that vary from submarine earthquakes, water spouts, an attack by a giant squid and even paranormal intervention. No one will truly know the ultimate fate of the Mary Celeste, with every single soul on board never being seen or heard from again, which is a terrifying thought in itself, isn't it? The Mary Celeste was discovered adrift and deserted just off the coast of the Azores Islands on December 5th, 1872. It was a Canadian vessel, the De Gratia, which found her in a disheveled but seaworthy condition, under partial sail and with one lifeboat missing. The last entry in the ship's log was dated 10 days earlier, which detailed the vessel's last known location, before these mysterious, infamous events unfolded. On board was the ship's captain, Benjamin S. Briggs, his wife Sarah, and their two-year-old 
five-year-old daughter Sophia and eight seasoned crew members, all veterans of the sea. It poses the question what dire threat did the Mary Celeste face that caused a highly experienced captain to abandon his ship? Nothing was stolen, all of the crew's possessions and cargo were exactly as they'd left them, but in all likelihood, we may never know. Swinging in at number two, the Flying Dutchman. Of course, this legendary vessel couldn't not make this list. The ghost ship that can tragically never make port, doomed to navigate the perilous ocean for eternity. In actual fact, though, the Flying Dutchman has had such an impact on nautical culture that it's easy to overlook the treacherous tale of its origin. It is thought that the legend of the Flying Dutchman first originated from the 17th century golden age of the Dutch East India Trade Company, a mega corporation that had a stranglehold monopoly on the Dutch spice trade that ran throughout the 16 and 1700s, where tale was told of a Dutch man of war that was lost just off the Cape of Good Hope. Purportedly, every soul on board perished after being ravaged by a violent tempest. The following few days, numerous other trading ships reported seeing a ghostly, ethereal vessel out in the foggy mist of the ocean, flying the exact same colours as the Dutch vessel. Since then, the Flying Dutchman has gathered notoriety as the worst omen you could ever hope for of a phantom ship that heralds the demise of an entire crew, with sightings continuing all the way into the 19th and 20th centuries. In fact, perhaps the most recognised sighting was by King George V himself during a three year voyage in 1881 just off the coast of Australia. He noted in his personal log that 13 people had seen the same glowing flying Dutchman in the early hours of the morning, and later in the day, the ordinary crewman who had spotted the vessel fell from the foremast and in his words, was smashed to atoms. It's a little bit worrying that one. Eh? And finally our number one spot the Orang Medan. And where do we even begin with the bizarre, perplexing legend of the Orang Medan? Perhaps the most terrifyingly unexplainable instances of a ghostly shipwreck in history. But, well, the leading physical theory of the Orang Medan may be even more horrifying than it first appears. As the legend goes, at some time in June 1947, an American vessel by the name of the Silver Star picked up several distress calls from a nearby Dutch merchant ship, the Orang Medan. A radio operator aboard the troubled vessel sent a message in Morse code. In rush, confused dots and dashes, it read, We float. All officers, including the captain, dead in chart room and on the bridge. Probably whole of crew dead. And then a few moments later, after even more confused dots and frantic dashes, two words came through very clearly. I die. Then silence. Nothing more was heard of them. But well, when the Silver Star eventually located and boarded the apparently undamaged and otherwise seaworthy Orang Medan, what they found absolutely horrified them. Every single person aboard was found dead, sprawled on their backs, frozen in fear with their mouths gaping open and their eyes staring straight ahead. There were no survivors, but even more terrifying, apparently no signs of injury or foul play. Just as the Silver Star crew was preparing to tow the ship to a nearby port, a fire broke out in the Orang Medan, which shortly exploded before finally sinking into the depths. Since this horrifying incident, theories have ranged from the vessel carrying a highly dangerous chemical nerve agent, to an entanglement with the CIA after the result of a secret experiment, to an unprovoked alien assault. But if you haven't already sensed the theme with this particular list, it seems that we may never know. Well there we have it horror fans, the top 5 creepiest ghost ships that haunt the sea. What do you think? Why don't you let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below, as well as any terrifying terrifying tales that you yourself have from the seven seas. Before we depart though, let's take a look at some of your most creative comments from over the past few days. Coming in, frequent horror fan Robert the Dude says, Top 5 scariest godlike entities. I won't give up. Robert, buddy, listen, we've got you. Just calm down. It's coming. Just be patient, please. Well, unfortunately, folks, that's all we've got time for in today's video. Just stick around all the way until the end. If you're a fan of this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well as that subscribe button. We'll be seeing you in the next one. As per usual, I've been your horror host, Jack Finch. You've been watching top five scary videos. And until next time, you take it easy.